What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you seven new tweaks that are working on iOS 10 to 10.2 jailbreak, of course, with Yalu. And I'm going to start with a very great one called Sonus. And Sonus replaces that old chunky control for the volume with something very cool. Look at this, it looks pretty cool. I tweaked it a little bit. I changed the colors, the radius, but as you can see, it looks pretty cool when you change the volume on your device. I'm going to show you it has a couple of settings in it. So you can uh, play with the appearance, with the colors of that toggle. Let me show you. Hmm. I'm gonna have this. And as you can see, it changes that color and you can also change the radius like this. It looks pretty dope. So you can play around with it and it disables that iOS related style for the um, for the volume. Now uh, continuing on we're going to continue with internal settings 10 and um, it requires you to add a repo internalsettings.urepo.com, uh, if I remember. And what this tweak does is enabling you to have some additional internal settings that are usually not available for the user. For example, to use Apple Pay anywhere, to enable accessory developer uh, settings. If I go in here, it will do that for me, I think. Let me see, somewhere. Well, it used to do something, but I don't remember what enable accessory developer settings do, uh, does right now. Access springboard settings, disable low battery alerts, show legal text on lock screen, battery percentage, for example, if I do this, it enables the battery percentage. Uh, disable notification center blur, respring, respring via app switcher. Now what that does is um, if you go here on the app switcher and take the, um, the home screen, if you take it up, too much, it will respring the device, which is pretty cool. You don't need an additional tweak for that. Enable AirPlay feature in Control Center, like this. Um, I don't know where it is. Show Wi-Fi signal strain and so on. Well, there are a couple of mini tweaks in a single one and it enables, a co of course, a couple of things that Apple doesn't want you to have. But you must, you must keep in mind that if you want to ever uninstall this tweak, you must disable all the toggles that you have enabled, like this. But let activated this one, enable photo apps internal settings and this one show report a problem in control center. And then you can, um, respring and remove the tweak if you want. If you don't do that, the changes will be permanent. So please read this thing right here, the important must read. A pretty cool tweak if you ask me. If you want to uh, fiddle a little bit with hidden settings, uh, usually with settings that Apple doesn't want you to have. For example, you have the allow unlimited tabs, which allow you to have an unlimited number of background tabs in Safari. Pretty cool. As I said, a lot of mini tweaks in a single one. Pretty dope. We're going to continue on with um, Gorgon. Now, Gorgon, uh, if you go to the settings, it doesn't have too much in here. Uh, it enables rotation on the uh, lock screen and also on the springboard. For example, if I'm here on the springboard, I'm not going to rotate because it will kill my recording, but you probably know that iPhone 6 shouldn't be able to rotate this screen right here. Well, using that, you can, as on the iPhone 6s Plus, and also it enables something more important, which is the uh, a feature from the iPad Pro. Let me show you. If I do this, I can have any app in here and I'm going to, to show you. I can cancel it or um, I can open another app. For example, the, um, let me open this. It's the split screen from the iPad and you can have it on your iPhone as well. And if I want, I can, of course, enable this application and go back and so on. It's pretty damn cool to have that thing. Some multitasking in here, but unfortunately, Peekaboo has crashed. And with this one, we're going to the next tweak which is uh, Crash Reporter. Now, Crash Reporter is not a tweak, it's more of an application, but it's pretty damn good, good when you install a lot of tweaks in a short period of time, and one of them is keeping you on the safe mode or crashing your device. For example, as we can see now, uh, a tweak has crashed, and if I go in here, it explains me why it crashed, how did it crash, and so on. You can see which DLL crashed and a lot of other things that you can send to a developer in order to get help or in order to fix 
the uh, the tweak. You know exactly what crashed, so you know what to remove. The uh, next one we're going to talk about is, of course, Fingal. Now, Fingal is the tweak you're seeing right now in the background. This tweak enables some kind of movement on your screen. You can see that the settings application has an icon with a toggle that keeps going on and off. Safari is actually a compass that spins. That check mark still keeps on applying and disapplying and so on. You can see it's just a little bit of movement on your screen. It's pretty damn cool, it's free, you can find it on Cydia. We're going to continue with NoPage.7. NoPage.7, as you can see, it's self-explanatory. I don't have any uh, page dots, even though I have multiple pages. Pretty damn cool. And um, we're going to see the extra icon dock. You can see right now on my screen, my dock contains five icons, but you can put at, um, at least 10, I think. Let me show you, it has a setting in here after you enable it and extra icon dock and you can select the icon count from 5 to 10 and of course you need to know that you can also hide the dock labels and you need to uh, respring every time you want to apply the changes. Pretty damn cool by the way and it looks pretty slick to have 5 icons instead of 4 if you ask me. And the last one we're going to talk about is Modem LS. And I'm going to show you in a second. If you go here on the settings, you can see it gives you a couple of um, toggles to change, battery and date and time and so on. Uh, you can enable it, vibrant date labels and so on. And I'm going to show you what it actually does. There we go. So this is what it does. As you can see, it enables you to have the battery in here and it shows you the charge of the battery and you can go then back to the uh, springboard and have it everything working. So yeah. So this is how it uh, it works. You can, uh, as I say, change the settings in here, the toggles. You can enable and disable it. But yeah, modem, LS, this is uh, the, um, the tweak itself. So I really hope you liked this uh, small list of tweaks I um, compiled for you. Tell me in the comment section down below if you liked it and what else would you like to see on the channel. And um, if you have any suggestion of a tweak, a great tweak, tell me down below and I'm going to add it in the next um, video. Peace out.